Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Parker, again. Oh, dang it, back again with another action figure review today. I am reviewing the Star Wars The Clone Wars Savage Press Armored. Now, he didn't come with the lightsaber, but I'll show you what he did come with. But just get all his stuff out the way. I'll show you, obviously, I'll show you the figure first, you know, to get a taste for it. I get his freaking axe out of his hand. One of his hands is very loose. And the other hand, you can barely put any accessories in. So here's Savage. Very cool. I've wanted him for a long time. A couple months, actually. The condition I got him in was pretty good. The cloth is all, it's all good. I'm torn up. Rubber is good in condition. Got his knee movement. Pretty cool. Yellow hands with the claws that I didn't actually know they painted fingernails on. Now on to the head. Alright, so you can come. There you go. Ooh, perfect. So you can see he has the Sith eyes, red and yellow. He has a scowl on his face. Surprisingly, he has all his horns because I know later on in the series he gets two of his horns cut off, I think. He has these removable armor pads, which I'm not going to remove, because he just looks better with them. He has this, he's a pretty basic figure design. I will say, there. You, I'm assuming that would be like a little place to hilt his lightsaber. For the hilt of his lightsaber, sorry, I can't talk. He has the it's yellow and black, the tattoos. His armor design is pretty basic. You know, you see, like, the two top muscles, and you got, like, little lines that zigzag into another straight line. There's a belt, pretty basic, where you put his lightsaber. Well, where he would put his lightsaber. He's got this surprisingly soft goods tunic. I don't know if this is accurate to the show, but one side is cut. And the other side is not. So I don't know if that's like on purpose or if it came or if he ripped it on accident. Either way, he still looks cool with it on. And now on to the accessories he comes with. He came with uh, his stand where you can put the Galactic Battle Game card in. Very nice. Always need more stands. Came with his battle axe that can fire a missile. Don't even know I can fire a missile, but he can hold it two handed or just one handed, you know. Then you got this uh, trading card. Well, no, the Galactic Battle Game card. I guess it could be classified as trading cards. You can look at his stats right here Force Ability 13, Battle Skills 13, Intelligence 10, uh, Mechanical Skill. And that's probably because he has a mechanical arm. Ten. Leadership. Seven. Luck. Nine. Wasn't very lucky in that five pop team, but I digress. But what I do, what I do do, it's funny. What I do with him is I take my Darth Maul's lightsaber. Because I use the Mandalore one now mainly. Except for in the main tier. I give him double blade lightsaber. Just like he did in the show. He looks pretty good with it. You can get him in some cool poses. But that's gonna wrap up my Star Wars The Clone Wars Savage Opress figure review. Alright, uh, see you guys in the next video.